My name is Eric Overfield, president and founder of Pixelmill, as well as Office Servers and Services MVP. Been developing SharePoint in about 2007, 2008, really though focusing uh, in SharePoint 2011. Um, mainly I've been on the front end side of SharePoint, so really working with master pages, page layouts, et cetera. Um, and a little bit of some web part stuff uh, later on and now just fully into SharePoint. Started working with the SharePoint framework. I first saw some of the beta bits about June of last year. Got really excited. It was pretty cool. Um, since then, I've been playing with it more when it came out in preview. Definitely got involved. The public pre public preview, absolutely. Now with GA, spend as much time with it as I can. It's a pretty cool technology that uh, I'm excited to be working with. The framework today is in pretty good shape. I like what they went out with GA. I'm really happy they started with web parts. There's a lot of gaps. There are some things missing. Um, but right now, no, I like it. I'm glad they got it out finally into the public uh, in the public uh, general availability. So we'll see where it goes. I like where Microsoft is saying they're going to be taking the framework. It's going to grow. Um, significantly I expect uh, there's going to be the major model we're going to use to customize SharePoint so all in all I'm, I'm kind of happy with where they plan to take it there's we'll have to wait and see I'm sure there's going to be you know ask me in three to six months and I might have some new ideas about where they might have been taking it um, but if they can deliver what they said it'll be it'll be good gotta be client-side rendering. I'm really excited to see that Microsoft made that leap from the server-side rendering side to the client side. It's where the web has been moving for a couple of years now. Uh, I've been trying to move a lot of my clients there and I'm glad to see that Microsoft making that a first-class citizen, shall I say, where they're taking it and they're gonna say, hey, this is the new way that we're gonna be providing an interface on top of SharePoint. Only one thing I'd add, huh? Well, we'll see. I mean, right now there's only web part, so there's a lot more that I want to see. Basically, I'd like to see the entire interface of SharePoint move to, shall we say, the SharePoint uh, SharePoint framework, which they've sort of been saying they've been hinting at. We'll have to see if that happens or not. Uh, there's a still that roadmap that I think might change a lot. So generally, though, I'd love to see the framework expand. I'd like to see more than just web parts, of course. Um, I'd like to see a lot more control of the interface happen within the framework itself. Right now, what I'd really like to see changed is the tool chain. Uh, the tool chain itself being really how things can get compiled when you're building it. This is not the biggest deal. A lot of people are freaking out over this. It's okay. It's, it, it's all this code. It's like 900 megs, I think, on a build just to be able to build a web part. But your web part's small. It's just a couple K. That, that, that's okay that it's small, but I, I wish they would tighten that up. And secondly, along that, I really think they need to be shrink wrapping this or providing a shrink wrap ability where we can have a web part that is tied into very specific uh, dependencies that won't change on us if we said, hey, this web part needs these dependencies. The current challenge I see right now is general, it's not adoption, it's learning what this new tool chain is all about. In particular, I'm seeing a lot of resistance with TypeScript, which is the primary language that builds, that you use to build your web parts. It's TypeScript is the, that ability to, uh, you, you, it's, a, it's a subset in a sense, shall we say, of JavaScript that allows you to um, build in a more typed uh, methodology that then gets transpiled to JavaScript. And, .NET developers don't get that. They don't understand that whole methodology. I mean, even though it's sort of built for them, it's totally new and totally weird. Um, so that adoption, that learning what the tool chain's all about, learning what Node.js is and how that works with NPM and then how Webpacks gets put together is a huge challenge for a lot of people uh, that I, I, I'm not concerned about long term. I think we'll get it. The more I teach people how to use it, they're like, oh, cool, I like this, this makes sense. And I'm sure we'll see some really good adoption. Predicting the future is rough with Microsoft, and let's, let's be direct on that one. Six months, 12 months, we're pretty set. SharePoint framework's coming out. They have a roadmap that's pretty short term. Uh, all of their new interfaces, the modern UI is all built basically on top of this tool chain. So we know that the framework short term, six, 12 months, is set. Past that, I would love to see the framework be the, the thing for the next you know, three to five to eight years. I mean, I can't predict anything past that. Who knows where web development's gonna go? I think client-side rendering is the way for the future. 
five, 10 years. Will the framework be it? That depends on adoption. That depends upon how Microsoft releases the framework. And don't get me wrong, what they're trying to do is hard. It's not easy. I've been telling everybody I can that we can't expect them to have a perfect product instantly. They need more resources is I think the direct answer to that. So 18 months, 24 months, I hope that the framework is widely accepted. I hope it is widely adopted. I hope that it is the, the new framework, the new methodology will develop for, for f many years. So that this is the not gonna be just the fourth uh, of five different development technologies. This will be the fourth for a long time. It will change, we know that, that's okay. It's, is this gonna be something worth learning? Absolutely, I really hope it is. I just would not be, I'm not willing to risk me trying to say what's going to happen in the next 18 to 24 months because I really just don't know. My first advice has got to be get started now. There's no reason to wait. The framework is out there. There is really good videos to get started today. Uh, easiest way I know is you go to github.com slash SharePoint slash PNP. They've got a whole bunch of examples. They have this JavaScript uh, special interest group that they've been building even more examples on the framework. There's no reason to get to, to wait. Okay, so now that you said, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go download the tool chain and get started, now what do you need to do? You're gonna need to learn TypeScript. My first two hours of TypeScript is kinda like, what? And I like, I'm a pretty good JavaScript programmer, I feel. TypeScript was different. As soon as I got over that hurdle, that two hours hurdle, got it, makes sense. Don't be scared of TypeScript. We've always had these new models. This has always happened. It, it, there's always change. If you're a program, you're not willing to change, then you would be stuck in COBOL and you didn't go anywhere. So it's okay to learn a new tool chain. It's okay to learn a new tool set. Don't be scared. I do believe the framework will be well worth your time and effort if you get started and you jump in and then just read blogs, get training, go to, go to YouTube. There's so much good material out there. No reason to not get started today.